Released from prison just 10 days before the election, Jomai Fai, once a tax inspector behind bars in Dakar, now stands tall as Senegal's president-elect who emerged as the opposition party's plan B after the powers that be blocked his mentor, the most popular opposition figure, Usman Sonko, from running. The duo wasted no time, igniting the street of Senegal like a cocktail molotov at a petrol station, gathering thousands of supporters. Now, Sonko brought him from the shadows of the party into the public eye and endorsed him. And instead of calling for an election boycott or cancellation, he passed the baton, exemplifying the principle that the pursuit of freedom must persist even in the face of individual setbacks. Now understand this. The title of First Lady is not recognized by Senegal's constitution or laws. The president, wife or wives are considered ordinary citizens. So let's stay focused and steer away from the nonsensical discussion about his marital situation. Also, some critics pointed to the 44-year-old inexperience in government affairs that he has never held an elective position. However, his victory stems from an electorate response to seasoned politicians' actions. This also implies a desire for a change or a different approach to governance among the voters. It's time for a new generation of leaders to emerge. The African electorate is yearning for fresh faces and innovative ideas in the political arena, moving away from the entrenched figure who have long dominated the landscape. Looking like an old leather bag must no longer be the standard to become a head of states. <laughs> Wait, Nini?